Hello and welcome to ASMR Who and this review for uh, The Land of the Dead continuing the Big Finish main range this is the fourth release it's another fifth Doctor story um, this time with Nissa Sarah Susan as, uh, as Nissa so set between seasons 19 and 20 in between time flight and arc of infinity um, the basic premise of this one is that um, the doctor and Nessa land in Alaska in um, in the 1990s um, and there's this millionaire guy who has um, uh, like a he's building his home but there's these all these different rooms um, there's like a they're made out of different materials so there's like a um, a wood room and a bone room I think a wood room there's a bone room and like a stone room and an ice room and there's one that's like a almost like a beach room and there's um, fish and, and sea creatures in there um, and then there's these monsters these sort of mutations I think evolutionary monsters that have or these monsters that are like fossils come to life um, that start attacking this was um, this was all right. Again, not I wasn't blown away by it, but it was a, it was a decent story. Um, I did feel that um, there was a really strong um, uh, surrogate companion role. Let me just see if I can. Um, yeah, Lucy Campbell. Plays a character called Monica Lewis in this. I thought she was a really fun character. Um, I think she was a really uh, a great match for Peter Davison's Doctor. I think she was really she had a great sarcasm to her, which I think um, the Fifth Doctor can be very sarcastic at times. I think they really bounced off each other very very well. Um, and then the the other characters in this were decent, but um, there's this subplot about um, the millionaire bloke and one of the other guys who's I think I believe is like native to Alaska. Um, there's two characters who are I think native to Alaska and, and a bit more um, culturally um, um, they're more of the culture of that place. I, uh, I believe. Um, and there's this subplot about um, 30 years earlier, this expedition, where the millionaires, uh, he's called Brett to the millionaire, but his father and another character's father both went on this expedition. Um, but everyone died other than the millionaire's, um, Brett's father, uh, Brett's dad. And so there's this plot there about what really happened there and um, and who, so who is to blame for that and um, both characters blame each other's fathers for what happened um, and so there's a there's sort of tension there which gets revealed later on in the story as to what's happening there, what's going on um, what really happened the years ago and who might be responsible and who might not be um, but it was good there was a little bit of um, there were uh, some um, very visceral um, deaths in this the way they describe the way people get killed is is a, not really gory or gruesome but it's uh, yeah I think visceral is, is the word I would use it's um, does not sound pleasant at all um, and I, 
I thought the setting of this house with all these different rooms and such, I thought that was was a fun setting. Um, but I, yeah, I, these I don't. I just don't have very much, um, very many thoughts on this one. It kind of came and went a little bit. I wouldn't say I was necessarily underwhelmed, um, but. I don't think it's the strongest story, and Nissa is not one of my favourite companions. She's probably one of my least favourite companions, and that's no um, that's no insult to Sarah Sutton. Um, I think she always does great and is always doing the best with the material she's given. But I've I've never found a character that interesting. There's always a lot of um, a lot of mispotential with Nissa, especially on TV. You know, people talk about um, the fact that the master is walking around with her dead dad's face and it's just never brought up. Um, that's touched on a little bit in this audio story here, but uh, I did, I do feel that she's, um, she's not a massively fleshed out character. Um, and if you've, um, on the season 20 Blu-ray, if you've seen the In Conversation, I believe it is, um, Sarah Sutton has talked about the fact that not only was she very young at the time and, and inexperienced, uh, you know, acting for television as an adult, um, but they were, the, the regular cast weren't really given much direction by the directors at the time, they were just sort of expected to get on with it, because they were there all the time, and so the side cast were given the attention, but the main, the regular cast just were expected to know what they were doing, um, and so she never really got the direction that, that she probably should have had, she, she probably deserved to have that, to really flesh out that character. Um, she was definitely a stronger character in this than I think a lot of her TV appearances, but I just don't love the character all that much. Um, anyway, um, and I don't think Sarah Sutton is one of my favourite performers either. Again, I don't mean any disrespect to her at all. Um, it's just some people you prefer more than others, and I've just never um, cared much for, for, for the character of Nyssa or the way Sarah Sutton performs it, and I understand that the performance in this will will be, you know, comes from the performance that she gives in the TV series, which I don't love, but, but she was a, a decent character in this, and it was nice to have a story where it was just her and the Doctor, because we never got that on TV, really. The closest you get is Ark of Infinity, but even in that, Tegan comes back into it. So it was fun to get a story with just um, the Fifth Doctor in Nyssa. Um, but it was good, it was, it was creepy, it felt very cold. Obviously it's set in Alaska, it's very frosty and, and snowy and, and um, that sort of environment. And you, I did feel that in the soundscape of it, but, but yeah, um, an interesting story, not my favourite. I had a good time with it. I enjoyed it well enough. Um, I think Peter Davison continues to be pretty good on audio. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. I think The, the Land of the Dead, written by Stephen Cole, um, if I've not already mentioned that. Um, yeah, but those are my thoughts on that. I'm excited for the next release, the first solo Seventh Doctor adventure. So... Join me next time, next week, for The Fearmonger, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.